Jared Poland Frono's photo.com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by my 100 mile bike a thon ride taking place on June 2nd, 2024, which last year I finished in five hours, 59 minutes, and six seconds. You can do better. And this year I want to do even better. Better. Now, last year we raised over $5,000 to help support the American Cancer Society in honor of my mother. This year I'd like to raise even more. Every dollar helps. Now, I've activated the fundraiser option right here on YouTube to make it super easy for you to make a donation to the American Cancer Society because all money goes directly to them. Just look for this donation box over on the right hand side or slightly below the video. If you're on the desktop or on mobile, it's right below below the video. On top of that, I've made a limited amount of custom I shoot raw biking jerseys as well as pants so that you can match with this awesome color and all of the proceeds go towards supporting my ride. I'm a bike schoolist. Head on over to jaredpolen.com store to get more information about grabbing a kit. First up, Sony Alpha Rumors has confirmed with 100% certainty from four reliable sources that Sony will release a 16 to 25 millimeter f 2.8 G lens in the next week. Now, if this rumor is true, it looks like Sony is building out a lineup of lower price glass meant to compete with the likes of Tamron and Sigma. Now, a few months back, Sony announced a 24 to 50 2.8 G lens, and I would assume it's only a matter of time before they break out something longer to round out their less expensive trinity of lenses. My issue with these less expensive Sony lenses is they tend to be a few hundred dollars more than the third party options. Sure, they might be smaller, faster focusing, and better quality all the way around, but when new photographers are just starting out, more times than not, they're going to look to save money with a third party lens that is more than good enough. Now, with that said, I don't think pro photographers are going to shy away from higher end GM glass in favor of these entry level 2.8 lenses. But I I do need to remind you that a good picture is a good picture is a good picture no matter what you take it with. And if these more affordable 2.8 Sony's are what you end up with, there's nothing wrong with that. Sony Alpha Rumors also says the next big Sony event is scheduled for May, but then says June at the latest. What is it, dude? Scheduled or not? I don't know. It's a typical Sony Alpha Rumors thing to toss shit against the wall in the hopes that something actually comes true. Now, would you grab a 16 to 25 2.8? Point eight, if real, let me know down below. Next up, Panasonic. Yes, I'm talking about Panasonic. They do make cameras. Panasonic has released two free firmware updates for their S52 and S52X mirrorless cameras. Now, I guess now would be a good time to discuss the elephant in the room, which isn't actually in the room. Yes, Panasonic is a part of the L Mount Alliance. 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 Lions. Phone call? Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello? Oh, it's Chandra with Panasonic PR. You like that? Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad. Goodbye. Now, here's a quick rundown of the important updates that Panasonic released. First, there's a new native camera to cloud integration with Adobe's Frame.io. That means you can upload proxy video directly from the camera via a Wi-Fi connection or via USB tethering. The good news is it's not just for video. You can also upload JPEG and RAW files as well. They also updated their real-time autofocus recognition, image stabilization feature, and added a feature that I don't even have on my Canon R3 just yet, and that's pre-burst shooting. Yep, you can record up to 1.5 seconds back in time, as long as your finger is pressed halfway down. Like I said earlier, this is a free firmware update, so as soon as it's available, all 14 of you Panasonic users can update your cameras. 14! There might be more than 14, but I'll just say 14. Before the last story, please don't forget about the fundraiser. All of the money goes directly to the American Cancer Society. And finally, all of your images and videos are already being used to train AI models, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. That sucks! Now, according to Reuters, Apple, Google, Meta, 
OpenAI and Amazon all paid Shutterstock to use their photos and videos to train their libraries. Now, Apple allegedly paid between 25 and $50 million, which is just a drop in the bucket for them, and five cents and a dollar per photo and a dollar per video to scrape Photo Bucket. Now, do you remember Photo Bucket? Yeah, they're a holdover from the MySpace and Friendster days, a place where we would just upload something because we needed to share a link to it or post it on our top eight or whatever the hell we used to do on MySpace. Well, all your old photos and videos are sitting there in fair game at this point. Even though the terms of service didn't say your images would be sold to train AI back in the day, a recent terms of service update on Photo Bucket changed that language. Now, before you get upset, when's the last time you actually read a terms of service? By clicking agree, you are also acknowledging that Apple may show your mouth to the- Exactly. We all just click okay because the alternative is not doing that thing you're trying to accomplish. Decline. Now there's a big discussion about ethically sourced material to train AIs, but the truth is the cat's already out of the bag. <laughs> Ethical or not, the data has already been scraped. You're not gonna stop these companies from using your emails, texts, photos, videos, and your voice to train the biggest AI models. Most of it's already been done and we didn't even know about it. You clicked agree. Now sure, there might be legislation coming down the road, but it's not gonna change the fact that all of our data will have already been used at that point. So how much are photographers and videographers getting from these stock companies that have already been scraped? Nothing! Probably close to nothing, like the guy just said. Absolutely nothing! And there you have it, that's your photo news fix. Thank you very much for watching. Jared, Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.